we were out the door at 6 a.m. Which never happens. I'm as shocked as you are, Jamesy. Did you enjoy mass? So we were at the Poor Claire Monastery in Pal what Palos are we in? Palos Heights? I think Palos Park. Palos Park? One of the Paloses. So like we said yesterday, we were going to an early mass here in honor of my parents. It's actually their 35th wedding anniversary. So it was an extra special day. And the mother nun actually gave us this little um, Medal, and it is Saint Colette, and it's for friend of sick children, patron of childless couples, and intercessor for expectant mothers. So they actually put me on their list of expectant mothers to pray for, which is super special. And what? That kind of took a crazy turn, though. <laughs> and so, like earlier we had said that my parents would come here when my dad was sick. My mom's best friend's uncle was a priest and they would all go to mass on Saturdays and then they would go to McDonald's for breakfast and so we are headed to McDonald's now for like their little tradition. Um, a couple of my aunts and uncles were here too. Um, so it's just, it was really nice. Overall it was like a little bit longer of a mass. The, the nuns there just sung like angels beautifully. <laughs> and Jamesy was so good. <laughs> he, had, he had a really good time. Like he was just happy and smiling. And the priest even talked about him during the sermon. You are special. And just like that, after a very early start to the day, we've been up for five and a half hours we are back in the city but hopefully we'll get to squeeze the most out of today with it being sunday and us getting up so early look at the city what'd you just say what? what'd you just say it's the last day of Lollapalooza. and did you just get some test results back i did and i'm weary so we're very worried like we're worrisome people but i we're super confident right some more than others? Some more than others. So my beta is 24. And what does it need to be? 25. It needs to be 24. It needs to be 25. I saw places where it says 24. <sighs> but the important thing is that it <laughs> doubles after 48 hours. I'm like literally in the corner of the corner. Um, so it has to double. And so I would have been nervous about a repeat test anyways because the important thing is that it doubles. I ovulated late. We just got our first positive pregnancy test like 48 hours ago. Sarah's worried. I just wanted it to be higher and now I'm like. But like Sarah said, regardless, even if it was high, even if it was 100. I'd be nervous. You'd be nervous because you'd want to see 200 on Monday or Tuesday when we get tomorrow's results back. And that's because it's the truly worrisome part is that it's doubling. Yeah, and the crazy thing is I didn't even think we were going to get results today. So like had I not even, had we got the results tomorrow and then the other results soon after, like I wouldn't have had the same amount of time to worry. I think we literally found out you're pregnant at the almost earliest yeah. conceivably possible and point. I have pregnancy symptoms. You have pregnancy Very symptoms. Nauseous. We have like seven pregnancy tests, and the act like the the and the, the test the test you took yesterday morning was a blood test, came back as positive, and then you have the second blood test, which was those measurements you're talking about. It's great, but like it's just like we've gone through loss before, and I had incredible numbers with sweet pea and I just I just know there's so many different things that can happen and this people is what you call infertility scar is the fact yeah. that we've got crazy. positive tests right. but right. no matter what is scary, but right. like I'm hyper aware of everything I know to ask about a beta like a lot of people don't even 
have had many babies and they've never had this test taken to know. But scary. that's why it felt like, like, like I'm saying, it is scary, but irregardless, if that number came back 100, we'd still be sitting here and you still have a nervous belly. I just so, want to lay in bed and watch Christmas movies. <laughs> and we can do that. Here he goes, just a walking down the street. So we all took naps because mm -hmm. we all got up at like 4.45. I got up at 4.45, so I got up at 5.15. James got up at 5.15. You're just going to let go? So we all took naps. <laughs> Currently, it's just like there's a million things that can go wrong in pregnancy, and this is so early, and like, let's be honest, you, you know all the different scores because we've had more, like, examined pregnancies before, and like Sarah knows all the numbers and everything we've had before, but every pregnancy is different. Like, I just want, like, I just wanted, like, the most confident numbers, and our number was, like, one away from the number they want it so it's but just like the most i don't think like to me the way my mind works is like we don't know if we could even have that most confident number right now because we don't know how far along sarah is yeah she could be like just three days into right. the ability to test positive so we just got our positive pregnancy test but like it's just i think we've been through a lot we are like and it's just kind of like easy to be like it ain't easy being cheesy <laughs> Just like letting it, you worry about it. Like it, pregnancy after infertility, pregnancy after loss, and this, like we've just been riding such a high the past 48 hours that like, it just kind of like. When she read, so the, I, you know, I know what it was because literally right before Sarah opened the email, I said, all we want is a 24. And we opened up. That's literally what I said seconds before you. I know, opened and that's it. why I said, did you did you look at this before? And it opened up, and it was a twenty four. But this like Quest Diagnostics website marked it as red because it is. If it was twenty five, it would be fine, or above. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it's twenty four, that this website, so this lab's <laughs> metric says twenty four is like something to worry about but in reality we don't know how far along sarah is so 24 is just dandy and what's most important is it is that it doubles on monday we've talked about that before with our previous examples with ivf but like with ivf we transfer a day five embryo it's already grown to that so like it's just such a different process and it's hard it's hard and then we and it's just waiting because like we'll have the test tomorrow and, and sarah then we're is really have... good at getting in her own head yeah, and I'm like trying to do like <laughs> my meditation, trying to do my like visualizations, thinking things, being positive. It's my parents' anniversary. This the timing of this all is just too perfect for me to think that it could be anything. Exactly. But a miracle that it that. is, yes. But it's still nervous wrecking. What should we do, guys? Give me this. Jamesy boy is nine months old today. Oh gosh. Nine months old. Ooh. Is this fresh mozzarella? Salad, sauce, pasta. Sunday dinner, thanks, Christina. Sunday dinner, thanks, Christina. Also, you'll have, to, we'll have to show the dog later, but I don't think you've met Christina's new puppy. Pumba! Pumba. Okay, here's Pumba. He's only. Christina, how old is he? Three months? Three months old. Little Frenchie. They see me rolling. Dang, dang. Jamesy boy. James. Yeah, you like your cousin's ride? The best part about having some cousins in the neighborhood when Dad and James boy go on a treats dessert run, you get to borrow their sick ride. So we had that delicious dinner, but we need dessert. And I forgot to run to Jewel or Target on the way over here. So James and I are going on a little run in the neighborhood to this cupcake bakery place to see what they have in stock left. It's just later in the day. Um, and then I might pick up some coffee grounds from like the only bodega in all of Chicago. So we'll see there, but this 
a chill Sunday evening now. I think Chicago summer is like over. It's like 66 right now. Gorgeous, but I don't think it'll get back to like 90 here in Chicago again. So that's weird for me because I still got that Florida blood. Just anybody can get a three month old puppy. No. <laughs> no. I just don't know what he would be like. Since like we're home with him all day long. Like if he was just like in his crate and then we would come home. Mm -hmm. But we wouldn't sleep, he would be up all night. Yeah. Damn you boy, ready for some cupcakes and cookies? Uh, they had coffee, so I got Christina and myself coffee, but we went to Genevieve's bakery. Look at this cute place. Welcome, keep calm and eat cake. We got trans flag pride flags. Love it. Wait until you see these cupcakes. They, they're like, they've been awarded Chicago's like best cupcakes a couple times, I think, according to like the newspapers. I got a whole bunch of kinds. Trace leches, chocolate trace leches, coconut, chocolate nut. But I got six, so um, I don't have self-control sometimes. We're back. I don't think we showed you since our hiatus, the paint job that happened in the hallway of Christian and Grand Three Flag. This is total Ron Weasley, Weasley house setup. I love it. It's kind of pure chaos here, but we got, these are the half dozen. We got, what did I say? Your favorite color is yellow? My, my favorite color is purple. Oh, we have chocolate trace light chase, regular trace light chase, horchata, and a red velvet. What are you doing? <laughs> We're sold on a minivan. Will you pause it? So I'm back between. Goodness, I'm tired. Toyota Sienna or the Chrysler Pacifica. I like the Pacifica. I think. Honda Odyssey, but I think. Wait. I thought I liked the Odyssey. I like the one with the sunroof. I like the Pacifica too, and it's got the vacuum with the remodels too. So I think it's between the Sienna, Toyota Sienna, and the Chrysler Pacifica. Let us know what you guys think of either of those. He's asleep. His eyes are just a little open. Let's get him to bed. You have work to do. I have to do work. Before and I have to edit. I have a meeting. I have to do work for the You have to edit. The next day. We totally forgot to sign off last night. Again, getting used to being in the swing of things again. Um, we're just waiting to hear back from my clinic today to get the ball rolling on my second bit of blood work and my progesterone results. So if you could please just send all the good vibes into the universe, um, that everything doubles and looks great. And you know, the positive news keeps coming. That would be so, so appreciated. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>